Hi, Casper here, and this is the Google Nexus 4, an almost 11-year-old smartphone that is surprisingly smooth and capable of a lot of daily tasks. Nexus 4 came out in 2012 with Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. It was available in black and white, which is the variant that I have. Uh, it also had a glass back with this pattern underneath, which changes depending on the light. Under that panel is a wireless charging coil, which was very rare back then. The sides are made out of rubber coated material, which tends to turn sticky over time on the black model, but happily my white model has uh, hard plastic sides. There are two big screws at the bottom which make the phone look worse, but at least it's easier to open it. I'd say it generally looks better than most twin pole phones though. It, the screen is a 4.7 inch HD IPS panel covered with Corel Glass 2. It also has pretty standard flagship bezels for 2012. Below the display is a really nice looking big soft, in a way like blurry LED notification light. It sadly has micro USB, but that's to be expected from an almost 11 year old device. On the back, there's a mediocre speaker, which can be easily covered up as with pretty much all back facing speakers, an 8 megapixel camera capable of recording video in 1080p at 30fps, and a bright LED flash. On the front, you'll find a 1.3 megapixel camera capable of recording video in 720p at 30fps. Here are some photos taken on this device and a speaker disc. The phone's battery is a 2100 mAh LiPo cell which can be charged with the earlier mentioned micro USB port or by placing the phone on a wireless charger. There is a headphone jack and a single micro SIM slot that sadly no expandable storage but that's a standard on Google devices. This device also features a Snapdragon S4 Pro SoC with 2GB of RAM and 8 or 16GB of storage. Here is its Gigabench score compared to other older devices, the Galaxy X Cover 3 and the LG L90. Also a Mi 9T from 2019 to show how it changed over the years. Now we get to the software. The Nexus form came out with Android 4.2 and got updated all the way up to Android 5.1 which nowadays can run like 70% of the apps I use frequently, which is a great result for Android version from 2014. The device runs fairly smoothly on Lollipop and runs modern apps without crashes or bigger performance issues. Obviously it's not perfectly smooth and stutters a lot, but it doesn't freeze a lot, just slows down sometimes. But if you want to get even more apps running on it, you can install a custom run. On this phone, I wouldn't recommend going any further than Android 8.1 with Lineage OS 15.1 as it will require repartitioning. Uh, might have performance issues and leave very little space for apps or even G apps. But with Android 8.1, it runs almost as well as on stock 5.1, if not better sometimes, and can run way more apps. Basically, every app I use frequently works on Android 8.1. Obviously, with many of these apps, it's going to have performance issues, but like I said earlier, it's not that common and mostly doesn't freeze the phone completely. For me, it is still fully usable in 2023, even though using it daily definitely wouldn't be a pleasant experience, but if I couldn't afford a better phone, I'd be fine with using this device. It's an amazing phone for $15, but generally, it's obviously old and far from being a good phone in 2023 and its future is not looking great. With every year, it's going to be more and more useless as the latest version of Android can run in a usable, at least for me, uh, state is 8.1, which obviously won't have app support forever. But I'd say it's gonna be at least partially usable for the next three years, if not more. The performance is probably gonna be so bad then that it will be just painful to use. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Nexus 4, obviously leave a comment, like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you didn't like it, and if you want to see more of my rambling about random tech or maybe some tutorials, subscribe and see you in the next one.